Hello YouTubers. I'm going to show you how to chop some wood today. This is the tools that you're going to need. You're going to want to wear something to protect your eyes. These are shatterproof sunglasses. You want a maul, M-A-U-L. It's not an axe. It's a maul. It's quite different. It's very heavy and it'll split through the wood. You want to wear protective gloves. You definitely want to cover your arms and legs because things can go flying around and you want to make sure you're safe. So, as you see, I've got my work cut out for me, and let's get started. Okay, you're also going to want a chopping block. This is, as you see, it's just a big piece of log, so you have it up high. It'll be more comfortable. You take your piece of wood and you put it there. You steady it, and then you step back. You, you want to have your legs about shoulder length apart. And you want to let the mull do the work. You don't want to stress out your arms. You could really hurt yourself that way. And so you want the mull to do the work. You don't want to pull the, the mull too far behind you. It'll pull you backwards and it might make you fall. You just want to pull it up just enough vertical over your head, but not over your head directly. And let the weight of the mull come straight down onto the piece of wood. This is a small piece of wood and uh, it should split right into rather easily. Also, you want to make sure the wood is very dry. This was a pecan tree that was cut down about two and a half months ago. So some of the small pieces are dry enough now to chop. The bigger pieces I'm going to wait and let those dry a little longer. That way it'll be easier to split. So again, you want to go back about this far and let the mull do the work. That's it. It just splits right in two. You want it to split a little more than that. The pieces are optimal to burn when they're about this size or a little bit smaller. I might even cut this one again. So then you just do it again. Shoulder length apart. Up and down. Easy as that. It's very satisfying too, I might add, especially if you're mad at somebody. This is a close-up to show you about what I, what, where you should be cutting the wood. You don't want to cut it dead center. It's hard there. You want the grain of the wood to work in your favor, as you can see. So if you cut it just off to the center, it should split right in two because that's the way the grain of the wood goes. So if this were a really big piece, you would cut it you know, off, just off to the center, and you would keep cutting it that way. That way the grain of the wood works in your favor. It's just the physics of the way the wood grows and the fibers of it. So that's that. This piece I want to cut a little bit more so in that case I don't have to balance it up like that. I can just put it down like that and give it a whack. Give it a couple of... See there you go. And we'll split right in two. I'll just do one more for you and then I'll let you take over. So again, keep your legs shoulder length apart, let the mull do the work, and don't hurt your arms. See? That's very satisfying. A crack on the head is what you get for not asking. And a crack on the head is what you get for asking.